We don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna make this quick. Today, I'm gonna be using Rakoma's lightning fast Vision DCG printer to finish a last minute order. So strap in because we're gonna do some speedy. Roll the intro. So today, I'm gonna to be printing a t-shirt for my godson's birthday party, and he's a huge Minecraft fan, and I only have 30 minutes to do it. Fortunately, I've got a secret weapon. This is Rakoma's Vision DTG printer. This powerful direct-to-garment printer has three pre-programmed print modes to meet all your specific printing needs, including standard, high resolution, and high speed printing. When set for high speed, the Vision DTG can produce a stunning 8x10 graphic on a light garment in under 60 seconds. All right, enough talking, let's get started. First things first, Need to go ahead and measure out my printing area. Let's do our length. So we'll do from the sleeves here. So length would be 14 inches right there. And then from the height, that would be 16 inches. Okay, so 14 by 16. Let's go ahead and go to my Vivid Rip software and we'll set up our design. All right, so we're gonna open up Vivid Rip. And we're gonna make sure that we're on the Vision DTG, which we're, in this case we are, perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go over to our design. I'm gonna go to import image and we're gonna go to our desktop and there's our design right there, Minecraft loop. So earlier we said that we had 14 inches in length by 16 inches in height. Our design is at 8.5 by 11. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring it up to 12. That way we get more coverage on the shirt. We're gonna go to color adjust and I just wanna make sure that everything is default at zero. And since we're pressed for time, we're gonna leave it exactly as is. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna archive. And I'm gonna save it to my USB. And once it saves, we'll take out our USB and we'll take it over to our printer. All right, I've already got my design set up on Vivid Rip. We're ready to print, but before we do, we need to do our pre-treatment with our Wagner pre-treatment spray gun, which is included in our essentials bundle. All right, so I've already pre-treated my shirt. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take it to the heat press. I'm gonna use the instructions that I have on my pre-treatment liquid, which is 330 degrees for 15 to 20 seconds with two presses. I'm gonna press it for 15 seconds. And then once I press it for 15 seconds, I will do another pass at 15 seconds it's until there's no more vapors coming up. All right, our shirt has been pre-treated and pressed. Now let's take it over to our printer. I'm gonna set my shirt here on the platen. The collar side is gonna be facing out. And now let's take this. We're gonna hurry, so we're gonna go into our settings. We're gonna go to option. We're gonna go to the bottom right where it says high speed mode. We're gonna turn that on. All right, I'm gonna set my USB. Now we're gonna select it. All right, and we're gonna look for the file that says Minecraft loop. Right, we've printed out our design, it came out awesome. Now, all we have to do is one final step. We're gonna seal our design with our heat press. We're good to go. And here we're gonna do 330 degrees for 20 seconds. And here we go. Look at that, we are done and with time to spare. That came out pretty nice, I gotta say. Oh, hold on a sec. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm literally right at the corner. I'll, I'll be right there. All right, that's it for today. If you like this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comment section below which is your favorite game growing up. I myself was a huge Mega Man fan and still am to this day. Also, if you're looking for more inspiration for your next printing project or to get some more printing advice, then be sure to check us out on Facebook and join our embroidery and printing business help group. Again, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.